Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today we're going to take a look at Reading Music Part 3, in which we're going to talk about time signatures. So, for any time signature, we're going to see two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. Now, they both mean very different things. The top number tells us how many beats there are per bar, and the bottom number tells us what type of beat or subdivision the top number is talking about. Now, with the most common one being 4-4, four, four, that means we have four of whatever that bottom number means. Now, the bottom number is talking about quarter notes. If it's a 4, it's a quarter note. If it's an 8, it's an eighth note. 16, it's a 16th note. There are more examples of what we can use, but these are the most common ones. So, let's take a look at figure number one, where I have two bars. They're written very differently. The first bar is a groove, and the second bar is a fill. Both are written within 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to play three bars of the groove, then one bar of the fill, and repeat that for you to hear it. All right, so for this second time signature in figure two, we're talking about seven eight. Now what that means is we have seven eighth notes per bar. So in the previous bar where we had one, two, three, four, we're gonna have our subdivision as half of that. So we would count it as one and two and, but there's only seven of them. So one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one. Or we could count it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Let's take a listen. Next up, we have 16th meters, and this one we're going to have 13 16th notes. Now, if you're familiar with counting 16th notes, you know we'll have 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a... And then there's going to be one more, because that was 12. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 1. You can say whatever you want for that last syllable, whatever's most comfortable for you to fit it in there. Same as the previous ones, we're going to play the beat three times, and then we're going to play the fill. However, the first time through with the fill, I'm going to fill in all the notes, like all the 16th notes within the bar, because the fill I've written just as quarter notes with a final 16th note. And it's really hard to feel that without any sort of a pulse. So I'm going to add it, then second time through I'll take it away. Last but certainly not least, let's put them all together. So we're going to play a bar 4-4, four, four, bar 7-8, bar 13-16, and just repeat that. So I'm Aaron Edgar, Editor-in-Chief of Drums Etc. Magazine. I hope this helped clear up a little bit about time signatures for you. See you guys inside the next issue. Bye.